Kyan Marie Tilton. You are the love of my life, my favorite person, and my best friend. I remember the first day I saw you on the cruise, just 10 months ago, and how just seeing you made me feel like everything was about to change. Then after hanging out with you, I realized my feelings were right. I was beginning to fall head over heels in love with you. Your big, brown, beautiful eyes really took me away, and God has brought us together in such a powerful way, and his hands are all over this relationship. I will forever be grateful to him for the work he has done in your life to prepare you for me and the work he has done in my life to prepare me for you. The fact that he has blessed me with you, my love, says it all. He truly is a loving, good, and faithful God. You are the most amazing person I've ever known, Kyan. You make me a better man. You are smart, funny, wise, discerning, gifted, talented, loving, caring, absolutely gorgeous, and most importantly, you love Jesus and desire to put him first in your life and our relationship. I cannot promise you things will be perfect, nor will I be perfect. However, I can promise you our God is perfect and he will never leave us nor forsake us, so we have nothing to fear. I vow to do my best to always seek Jesus first, above all else, and trust him with all my heart as we step into this covenant with him and one another. I vow to keep him in the center of our relationship and point us back to him whenever we start to get off course. I vow to grow in the Lord daily, pick up my cross, and give him full permission to renew and transform me into the man of God that you truly do deserve. I vow to lead you as I follow him and love you for who you are, thank God for how far he has brought you, and rejoice in how much farther he will take you. Even when we get into our moments of intense fellowship, I vow to have a forgiving and repenting heart in fear of the Lord, always being truthful, honest, and transparent, and never losing my childlikeness. I vow to keep the romance alive and remind you of how much I love you every day with my actions, words, and deeds. We live in a broken world and I'm an imperfect human, full of flaws and in need of grace. With that being said, thanks to Jesus and by the grace of God, I vow to be patient and kind as I listen to you, hear you, and change for you. Every time I come up short, I will always pray for you, our relationship, and our future family time. And lastly, I will bear all things, believe all things, hope all things, endure all things through Christ who strengthens me because love never fails. And I love you, my sweetheart. Five hundred and fifty-four days ago, I wrote a letter to God. It read, thank you in advance for all the blessings you are going to bring to my life one of which is my husband. I know you have the most magnificent man waiting for me. Kyle, I knew you were special the moment I met you. God highlighted you and I felt so deeply in my heart that I was supposed to know you. Soon after we met, God reminded me of that list I wrote 256 days prior. Every quality I could remember was so evident in you. I immediately started sobbing. I didn't know if you were gonna be my husband yet, but I remember thanking God for making a man like you. I remember thinking whoever ends up being your wife is so blessed. I can't believe I was the one God handpicked to love you. I wanted to take this time to acknowledge you. You are the most kind and loving man I know. You are an amazing leader. You are humble and hardworking and you have a servant's heart. Thank you for loving me endlessly and showing me what a God-fearing man looks like. God's hand is so evident in our love story. So many people could look at our journey and think we are absolutely crazy. <laughs> Philippians 4, 7 says, the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I feel those words so deeply. The amount of peace I have felt during this relationship exceeds all understanding, and that's why I know it's from God. Jesus is our example of love. He died on a cross, just like this one, except it was filled with pain and suffering. This cross isn't here just to be a beautiful centerpiece of a photo. God's love is self-sacrificing and unconditional and filled with so much hope, grace, and forgiveness. Love is not an emotion, but a daily choice to put someone else before your own selfish nature. I can't promise you I won't be selfish because we both know that would be a lie. I promise I'll fall short, be imperfect, and sin on a daily basis, 
but I also promise to go to God every morning to be renewed so I can pour out His love into our relationship each day. I love you dearly, and I am so blessed to become His wife.